Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Beyond the Booth. My name is Brian Felt, and I'll be your host today. We are coming at you from NVIDIA GTC, and we are right outside of the booth of Worldwide Technology. I am excited to have a great couple of guests with me today. We have Andrew Taylor. Andrew, your senior NVIDIA partner manager for HPE. And Jeff Funky. Jeff leads our high-performance architecture team here at WWT. Thanks for joining. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, thank Thanks you. My pleasure. Us. So plenty of great news to come out of GTC so far this week, and we'll get to that in just a second. But I did want to level set a little bit and understand the landscape as it relates to AI readiness, AI adoption uh, with some of our clients. What are we seeing out in the landscape today, and how can our clients start to inch forward towards success? So, you know, I, I, I've been blessed to have this role for well over two years. Two years ago, we weren't talking about this. You know, when we were at the keynote, Jensen said, this is the iPhone moment. When ChatGPT came out, this is the moment, right? So if we think about how that changed everything, it, it, I mean, it's crazy, right? I talk to CEOs all the time. It, it's a downward approach from their leadership, from the board of directors. And we're really just trying to capture that. And the way we do that is by partnering with WWT, partnering with NVIDIA, with HPE, and bringing full solutions together. And we're calling this the age of the enterprise for AI. We believe that it's gonna come down and it's gonna hit enterprise customers everywhere across multiple verticals. I would imagine you're saying about the same thing. Yeah, no, good call, Andrew. I, I would say, you know, like, one, very excited that, you know, eight years in a row, NVIDIA's Enterprise Partner of the Year. Of the year. And Congratulations. So really, really great I mean, that's um, huge. announcement this week. Uh, very good collaborations between our, our top leadership, you know. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, from, from that being perspective, I would say from a CEO perspective down, that's where we're seeing our clients building these centers of excellence really to uh, drive those initiatives, right? And we've written a, a white paper recently on, you know, the CEO's guide to a, uh, deploying AI within your organization and how to build those centers of excellence. So I would say from our perspective, to have that backing from an upper management and leadership level, even all the way to the board and the C-level, to do something with AI, that's the, that's the, the initiatives we're seeing uh, much underway where our teams are consulting and helping deliver those architectures. And it's a lot of pressure on leadership. It is. I mean, really, it's yeah. a whole new arena for them. Yeah. Some of them think they're doing AI just because of the applications they use inside their business, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And really, AI is so much more, especially when you get to Gen AI. Yeah. That's different. Right? Yeah. That's a whole different architecture. So. Yeah. And we'll probably get into more discussion around security, but obviously they don't want to be the next headline, right? They don't oh want to be part gosh, of the... Yes. Um, yeah. There's a lot of legalities that have to be considered, and ultimately, um, you know, you're already seeing lawsuits and that type of thing. So that's helping right. consult in, in a very mindful way, uh, that's where we come in, and our organization partnered with you guys, um, and, and we're just seeing continued um, uh, synergies with, with the organization. So. Well, you mentioned the, the, the age of enterprise and you're talking about just the pressure that's building on leadership to advance um, AI initiatives. Organizations are wanting to move fast, but at the same time, they, they might be on a spectrum in terms of, of readiness. What types of lessons or, or uh, key themes have we picked up on at GTC so far that can start to help them move forward? Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll start with the journey. I, 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 you know, it seems rudimentary, right? But really, every time you're, you're a customer or you're you know, working for WWT, HPE, NVIDIA, you really got to start with where are you in that journey? And I think Jensen really highlighted that. The journey is complex. I mean, if you think about where they are, I talk to customers every day. I, I you know, without getting into the specifics, I asked a customer just recently, where are you in your journey? We, we've got, you know, some application that has AI inside of it. And, and that's a different level of conversation. So as we move them on, and some of the announcements here at GTC were just phenomenal, right? They more than doubled performance from the mm -hmm. H100 to the B100, mm -hmm. which is announced here. Mm -hmm. We're going to have that hopefully in your ATC yeah, soon. Yeah. Um, we're definitely got it, we've got it certified, we've got it qualified. We're working through those processes, and we're excited to bring that next level of just technology to the market, right? And then we partner with Software Stacks. I know you guys have a great software team at WWT, mm -hmm. and how we can collaborate and put those all together for a solution is just fantastic. But I'm, I'm going to be personally selfish for a minute. The robotics, holy cow. If you haven't seen the keynote, you could just fast forward to like the last 15 minutes. The robotics. My, I, I sent the video to my kid and they're like, are you bringing one of those home for us? <laughs> right? It's just outstanding. No, no, all excellent, you know, um, perspectives there, Andrew. And I, I would say when I looked at the, 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 the keynote, we watched, you know, we watched in detail and, and obviously, you know, Moore's Law has been shattered years ago and just with the Blackwell chip, very exciting announcement. 
The one thing that stood out to me though is like, that's 120 kilowatts per rack and 3,000 pounds when it's fully populated. And I think Jensen mentioned it's the bandwidth of the internet. <laughs> all all coming out system, the, that, that's I mean, exactly what he said. Unbelievable. So I would say um, customers are going to need to get out in front of that power conversation from a facilities and infrastructure perspective. And our teams are poised and ready to have that conversation. Advanced cooling, advanced power, um, designing that data center, uh, I would say, uh, is a key component because these accelerators are not getting slower, they're not getting cooler, um, and they're taking up more power. So we, we have to get out in front of that. So that's a, definitely a trend. Um, we are seeing um, and, and ultimately heightened by the release of the Blackwell chip this, this week as well. So, um, yeah, lots of great, great stuff. Jensen also mentioned, you know, this is the year of production. I would tend to agree with that in a lot of the bigger clients, you know, and, and maybe in the service provider space and, and maybe large financials. But we see customers along the journey on all sorts of levels where they're, they, they, they're just figuring out the top use cases from uh, maybe dabbling with things where our AI proving ground may come into play. And I know we'll talk about a little bit more about that. But um, yeah, th the journey's vast and it depends on the size of the customer, but um, you know, that's where we're here to help meet them in the middle. So. Right, well, and you know, I, I think another quote from Jensen is the data center will be liquid. There, yeah. there is no right. other way around You'll it. You'll see for sure. And all compute will be accelerated, right? Mm -hmm. That's what he said in the keynote and, and it's true. I mean, as you look at the roadmap and what we're going to be bringing to market, mm -hmm. we're talking 1,000 watt GPU. Sure. You know, yeah. when, when we talk to customers, I'm sure you experience the same thing. It's 12, 13 kilowatt racks, yeah. right? 12 to 14, maybe. Yeah, that's and, not and, enough, right? Uh, no. <laughs> not going to do it. No, not gonna you're going to have to get up above 100. Yeah. And that's how we have to prep the data center going forward and, and advise and hopefully get them there and prepare yeah. them for this next wave. Yeah, no, and I would, you know, the, the, the interesting fact is, and we've got, obviously, we'll, and we'll talk more about this, but, the HGX system today with the H100, just sitting idle. I mean, that thing is doing over two kilowatts. That's right. You know, and people are designing their racks in the past at 17 kilowatts, you know, or 12 to, total 12 to 17. You know, we're already gonna bust through the seams just probably this quarter next, right? So, a lot of work to be done there. Well, both HPE and WWC, long-standing partners uh, of NVIDIA, and I know HPE just in conjunction with GTC, uh, announcing updates to uh, some of the reference architectures. So, you know, maybe walk me through some of the strategy about um, what's coming up, the AI native yeah. portfolios. Yeah, well, and I'll take you a little bit behind the scenes. We've been working hand in hand with NVIDIA on some of the reference architectures. If you think about, you know, HPC, AI, and how that's going down into enterprise, it, performance is so key. You've got to be able to take advantage of the actual GPUs, the actual servers, the power that you put in here. Mm -hmm. And the only way you can do that is with the right I.O., right, the right throughput. Mm -hmm. You've got to have the right system in place. So, you know, one of the announcements that we had, and it was pre-announced at Discover Barcelona over in the beautiful city of Barcelona. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't get an invite, but I got to watch online. Um, but Project Fuji is what we call it, but it's called Gen AI for inference. And it is built specifically for a 70 billion parameter model. And it allows you to take a Llama 2, a Burr, a, a Chat, GPT, whatever version, down, and then fine tune it utilizing NVIDIA AI enterprise software and our MLDE and MLDM stack. That's Pachyderm and Determined AI for those of you in the AI world that are keeping up. And it just takes you from an end to end solution, from data inception to vector databases to RAG, and allows you know, our customers to deploy. In fact, um, you know, I won't get into specifics, but we have a customer doing that right now, mm -hmm. jointly together. Yeah. So, no, you know, I, I encourage people to talk to us. Uh, we've done it. We've experienced it. If we think of HP's history, we own Cray, we own SGI. We have been doing this for the largest labs around the world, and we've been doing it with great partners like WWT. So, come to us, talk to us, and I, I know you have yeah. some references based on oh, your yeah. experience. No, I, I, what I would say, and everything that you just mentioned, you know, the, and thank you for the great partnership, but, you know, the, the investments from Antonio to Jim and down uh, within our organization, uh, you know, our Advanced Technology Center is the foundation cornerstone of really well, where we build our opinions and our research, and you guys have uh, continued to make investments over the years, so thank you for that, but ultimately, the AI proving ground and what my team does from a high-performance architecture standpoint it's going to be key that the reference architecture that you just mentioned, we will be able to showcase that in the very near future. And, you know, you mentioned Cray um, with the HGX solutions that you guys bring to market. We have that, you know, we're, we're excited to be able to showcase solutions on top of an entire HPE stack within our organization, within the ATC. So lots of great things coming. And, uh, you know, you mentioned Determined AI and Pachyderm. 
these will be part of the suites with all the middleware that we're building the automation inside of the lab to be able to get multiple customers, multi-tenants uh, on these types of deployments where we can bring them to market and showcase the value that HPE brings to the table. So. Yeah, and just to showcase the strength of the relationship, we've got Antonio Neri, mm -hmm. our CEO, coming out at the end of April to WWT headquarters. Yes, he is. And we do that on a regular basis just to make sure that we have a strong partnership, that we're taking care of each other so we can take care of our customers. Yep, I, and I do uh, know and Jim. And I appreciate and, the partnership as well. Yeah, absolutely. Jim and Joe, or Jim, Jim Joe and the team, uh, our execs, are always excited to meet with Antonio. So we appreciate that. Well, Jeff, we've mentioned it a number of times, but the AI proving ground. Uh, for those that maybe are unfamiliar, talk about the investment that we're making in the proving ground and some of the value that it's delivering to market. Yeah, I would say, and you know, very excited about this endeavor. Um, we're partnered up, my team's partnered up from a global solutions and architecture organization with, with the folks in ASD and Matt, uh, Matt Halcom and others in, in the organization with uh, Tim Denny and, and that whole organization rallying the entire organization to build this proving ground out. So the, the ATC, for those that don't know, is our advanced technology center. It's been the, the foundation of what we've done for our customers to differentiate, uh, adopt and test and deploy new technology concepts. And this is no different than you know anything, but with the explosion of generative AI over the last year, our company's focus on AI is, is massive and the amount of investments being made. This is a large bet that we've made uh, a big investment in the ATC lab that basically is a, a place where we can help customers guide them along the journey um, with 14 or 15 different reference architectures um, to be able to quickly get their hands on um, the, the, the NVAI software suite from NVIDIA to be able to test middleware products and learn um, about what they need from an architecture and, and hardware perspective. But we also have our data science st staff that are actually working to together with our teams to build these use cases within the proving ground. So it's not just a hardware uh, playground. It is ultimately, if a customer wants to learn how to, uh, like the effects of a 70 billion parameter model on um, an eight-way system and what the network configuration needs to be, maybe it's Ethernet or an InfiniBand, or maybe they want to do something, uh, you know, they want to understand uh, more about one accelerator versus another or one storage manufacturer versus another in that entire stack. I know with, with HPE, we've got, uh, we've got two solutions, right? We've got the GreenLake for file on VAST, but we've also got um, Esmeral data fabric in the lab. So we, we've got a lot of different opportunities to showcase the value um, that, that HPE brings to the table end to end on the stack. So hopefully that gives an idea of what the proving ground is foundationally and what we want to use it to help our customers educate themselves on. Yeah, I mean, it's a differentiator, right? Mm -hmm. And it's unique in the channel community. Not everybody has what you guys have. Right. And I've had the honor of installing gear in there. It's a beautiful facility. It's great to take customers into. They have a great CIC that I've been into, a customer briefing center. Mm -hmm. um, but the best thing is, H100s are hard to get. Mm -hmm. yeah, so if we can much. bring it to you in a virtual POC, mm -hmm. we can speed your time to actual return on investment yeah. and project. That's Actually, the idea, right? Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. that you guys have made the investment. We're thankful for that, and ultimately being able to put customers on it very quickly to get their 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 opinions made and their thoughts built around you know Green Lake and 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 the hardware that backs it. Um, just looking forward to working more with you. You know, one of the, one of the biggest challenges out there, and you hit on it when you were talking about the proving ground. You know, the challenge today is there's not enough data scientists mm -hmm. out there. So if you can leverage another group of data scientists. Mm -hmm. It, it just alleviates so much pressure. I was, I was reading an article um, from a startup and he was interviewing a data scientist from Google. And Google data scientist came back, you know, no names used, right? But he came back and said, call me when you get a thousand H100s and we'll talk. You know, that, that's where we're at. Yeah. It's hard to get these data scientists and these data scientists are passionate usually about their work. Mm -hmm. So you've got to be prepared for that and having WWT to supplement that team yeah. is a game changer. Well, all that work happening within the proving ground, you know, ultimately is culminating in making AI easier for our clients. And, and I love the, the, uh, the synergy between how we, you know, HPE and WWT look at AI. You know, WWT talks a lot about practical AI. HPE, make AI work for you. Ultimately, what we're doing in the proving ground is making it easier for our clients. So, you know, maybe a little bit more about like the role and, you know, how you see HPE playing a role in the proving ground moving forward. Yeah, I, I, so, you know, when you come to the quote, and, and here at GTC, we actually went with Make Your AI Mission Possible. We're big partners with NASA. We put, you know, the first system in space. You know, we, we like to think of ourselves as pioneers. We've been around for a long time, but we're still in innovating and putting new products out there uh, to help get customers, and this is the key to the statement, to actual production. 
right? That, that's a struggle. What was it in 2022, 67, 70 percent of projects just failed to make it to production. Yeah. So how do you get the value from the time invested? And that's what we're focused on. And we're supplementing that with services from WWT. We're supplementing it with software from other partners like NVIDIA to bring an entire solution and make it easy. And not that it is easy, but at least easier, right? Yeah. No, Brian, you mentioned practical AI, and I think, you know, I, what I love about Worldwide is, you know, customers are on that journey, right? The AI Proving Ground will help advance that journey, shorten that journey, um, but we, we have that concept of practical AI. It's, it's a worldwide technology phrased term, but it's really not about, um, it's about the, um, the entire framework and landscape, right? It's not about buy it off the shelf and deploy it or build it yourself. It's really about that consultative mindset of meeting that customer where they're at in the journey helping them build a, a, a center of excellence. Um, we've got these accelerators that we can help them get going on a journey. Um, we've, we've built a, what we call a bundle concept um, to, to help them kind of start the conversation, small, medium, large. What does that architecture look like? But that's our approach to practical AI is meeting the customer where they're at in the middle um, to help them get to where they need to be faster. That's our consultative approach. Um, obviously, our ability to consult on the data side and help them with the, the, the data, which is foundational to all AI initiatives, uh, bar none, um, that is the key. We've done this for 10 years in the space. So uh, that coupled with our, obviously, the ability to deploy the best in breed from HPE inside the uh, customer, um, you know, those are the things that uh, we consider practical AI. You know. Well, certainly here at GTC, kind of on the forefront of innovation of what's happening in the AI space. Um, Take what we've kind of learned here so far over the first couple of days and you know, how is that going to change the high performance architecture landscape, the infrastructure landscape over the next 6, 12, 18 months? <laughs> I, I was sitting at dinner last night with several customers and just having a conversation and you, you know, we talk about just tectonic shifts, you know, where the market's going and, and I, I you know, looked them straight in the eye and I said, we're in it right now this is a tectonic shift mm -hmm. there are robots next to the HPE booth serving drinks <laughs> yeah. I kid you not there's robots going around here they've got automated buses that you can set in yeah. meetings of the future I'll call it mm -hmm. I mean it's just game-changing yeah. you know if you're not here you need to be next year I mean this is just a fantastic conference lots of innovation right and, and the best part about it is outside of the robots we, we can take care of our customers with these solutions right we're integrating them we're selling them we're getting them in and we're helping them go through that journey, which is the biggest challenge because this is overwhelming. Just looking around this conference, it's overwhelming. And you need trusted, consultative people to help guide you through that process. And, you know, come here next year, if you're not here today, and come to our booth, right? And meet us and let us showcase this to you and show you the technology. But it, it was outstanding. The whole conference was outstanding. A great conference. Couldn't, you know, double down. I, and I'm just... A simple Missouri farm guy, so I was. Well, I'm drawn not of Arkansas. Yeah. You're not a Missouri <laughs> fan, are you? Uh, oh. Well, maybe, you know, but we'll, we'll, we'll set that aside. But there is a, literally an autonomous driving itself tractor sitting out front. I don't know if you saw that, but that, I did see it. Yeah, that, I was like, oh, well, that's interesting. But it's not a big commercial one. It's a it's a small one, you know. So right, right. anyway, so I was from that to the robots you speak about. I mean, it's just you know Jensen and what he's put together here uh, for this conference has been um, it's been a great experience and ultimately just gets everybody super excited about where the industry we are in and um, you know AI and the data behind it that's driving all of this um, it's great to be front and center in a lot of these these uh, use cases and just you know I mentioned it earlier Moore's law has been shattered um, you saw where the Blackwell chips gonna be I think that's gonna be interesting I think customers are still well on their journey on the H100s um, <clears throat> you know just just really meeting them where they're at is, is an exciting time for us um, helping them understand what they need to be doing long term to build these things, these solutions out, um, you know, but again, you know, thank you for the partnership. I think we've got a lot of work to do ahead of us. We're in the middle Certainly swimming do. in all this right now, like you said, and, uh, um, you know, it's going to be a fun ride for the foreseeable future. So, oh, I would agree. Well, any parting thoughts on GTC or Outlook as it relates to AI and how that might apply to any number of joint clients that we have and, and where they at, or, or, you know, knowing that they could be anywhere on that spectrum of their journey? Well, you know, the funny thing is, is, you know, I talked early on about the journey of AI and having that conversation, and most customers don't know what's possible, you know, and, and what I like to do is come into the meeting and say, what are your challenges? Let's just pick three challenges that you would love to solve for. It could be a directive, it could not be, but something that bothers you at the company that you just want to solve for, and there's a chance that we can solve it with Gen AI. 
depending on what it is. Maybe it's documents that you want to be able to sort, find easier. Maybe it's a chat bot for customers so we can have those conversations with customers yeah. without taking up humans, right? Mm -hmm. That frees up humans to be more engaged when it gets to their level. Um, you know, we have solutions out there today that you never have to talk to a person. I know there's a lot of qualms about that, but I, um, I was making a purchase with this customer and I needed to make a return. I had a bag show up with nothing in it, right? Mm -hmm. And I go on and I say, hey, you know, here's a problem. Chatbot goes, what happened? And something not in your bag was in the option. I hit it, it goes, it, money's going back to your account. Three messages, and it was done. And that's what we can do now with these updated chatbots, mm -hmm. right? It, it is just phenomenal. So there's so many aspects that we can help take you through the journey. It's been showcased here at GTC, lots of great partnerships in software that we have jointly and just maybe not even existing today, but we can bring those on and take them to our customers. Right. No, you, you, you nailed it. I, I would say at Worldwide, we're doing just what you, you know, we, we've done a use case analysis study within our own organization, and we actually have a productionized uh, chatbot. We call it WWT GPT, so it's using RAG architecture with GPT-3.5. It's a game changer, um, right? It is a game changer. It is a time saver. Our, our, we're not only um, you know, we're not only messaging how we've done that to our customers, but we're showing it dynamically to how it's actually saving us time, you know, those types of things. So definitely, uh, you know, agree with the parting thoughts there. I, I'd say just looking forward, you know, we've eight years in a row, the partner of the year here uh, from an enterprise perspective with NVIDIA, looking forward to next year and earning that, that again, but really an exciting time and, uh, you know, looking forward to partnering more in the near future. I'll probably see you in St. Louis very soon. Well, I, I imagine so, and hopefully I'll see you in Vegas at Discover. Yes. And we've got big announcements coming there Good. around NVIDIA, around these solutions. So if you haven't signed up for Discover, be there. I'd be happy to host you. We'll, we'll make another show of it. Sounds good. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Sounds like we'll be talking soon. Uh, Andrew, Jeff, thanks so much for, for joining. Enlightening conversation. Great stuff. And, and thank you to everybody tuning in and watching on WWT.com. If you'd like any more information about uh, the partnership between WWT and HPE, you can head over to our partner page uh, on www.t.com and check out lots of great content, videos, etc. Uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you soon.